In my live stream yesterday, a couple of my subscribers came up to me in chat and asked about how you can win from behind as Belveth mid because they feel like when they're behind on Belveth mid, which is a very normal thing that happens every once in a while, they struggle to find the usefulness in the character. And so I explained it to them and I'll show you the clip of that in just a second. But what's incredible is the game after I explained that concept to the person in chat that asked that, I actually had a perfect example of how you can do that as an in-game example. So I'm going to show you guys that game unedited. It's a nice game on my main account, Diamond 2 ELO. Pretty much everyone was Diamond 2, Diamond 1, or Diamond 3 in the game. It was super intense, and I actually ended up being behind for the first bit of it, and our team was down... 9,000 gold at one point in this match. So it's a really incredible match. I'm going to show it to you guys pretty much unedited, uh, and I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks to your videos, I started playing Bell Mid. It's really fun, but I feel when I'm not way ahead, I don't make a difference in fights and stuff. Is it normal? Yeah. Um, Belveth is a very snowball-y pick. In those games, you basically just want to play with your team, try and like protect your damage dealers from dying with your W, uh, and then like finish off targets so you can get your ult off. And then basically from that point, you basically play for 20 minutes, get the Baron Void Coral. And at that point, you just group with your team and try and build up a really big wave and just win through macro plays, which is just like playing around the map, um, just making really big team plays uh, to be able to win with your team. Okay, Singe is a weird matchup. Um, the weird melee matchups are always the hardest for me. Uh, Singe is weird because... Uh, he has his anti-dash. The nice thing about his anti-dash is that it is predictable. So if you're not... Um, so if you have any Qs up, you can just dodge it. Even if you have your if you start your E. The only downside is if you just start your E and he does it, you kind of want to stay in your E a lot of the time. But you can Q out of it to dodge his W. It's the one upside of playing against Singed rather than playing against stuff like Soraka. I'd say Soraka is probably one of the most annoying champs. Not to like face in lane, but just like, you know, having a Soraka support on the enemy team is like one of the most annoying things for Belveth because you can't even cancel your E to walk out of it if she does it. You can't do anything. <laughs> you just have to let the E go through and then just get rooted. <clears throat> but with Singed, you can do whatever you want. He's going to do his poison. I don't really care right now, so. Yeah, I'm just going to get my trade off. His E has Aftershock, so he basically just doesn't have a rune until level 2 when he gets his E. I have my Q's back up already. And we have the wave somewhat pushing to me, which is really good. Singed has a very hard time farming when the wave's pushing away. Nice, just getting auto attack there. He is going to hit level 2 first. I don't want to get too close, because he can just flip me into turret. But luckily, I queued in front of him, so he can't flip me to turret. This is where Singe kind of gets an advantage, though. Um, he is going to have a bit better regen. Looks like he's basing under turret here. There's not much he can do, so it's a good play by him. He has TP as well. Oh, what? That missed. A little bit rusty. Let's go ahead and take a recall. Let's ward this. I'm just going to buy a long sword and a potion. We're going to go Eclipse first, and then we're going to go Bork. The reason why we go Eclipse first is because we're maxing our W first, and having a lot of AD is the best way to scale up your W. That's really tough. 
We might be able to. Um, probably not though. Let's go. Let's go back up. Okay, gonna mute that guy because he's just upset. Sins is just really fast. I must know what it means to exist. <laughs> It's just a good play by them. Nice, he's taking a lot of damage here. That's really good. What do you think about 14.5 Belveth nerfs? Uh, I think it affects support Belveth the most. Um, I think it's kind of annoying, but it's not a huge deal. I won't chase him too much there. I probably shouldn't have even done those cues. He basically got us trades back because I chose to do that. Get some nice healing here, though. Nice. I thought I had my E up, so I tried to channel it, but... Just keep getting these Ws off is really good. Okay, I will be on my way there. I need to actually be there for all of them. Hopefully he knows, so I can get the XP proper. Perfect. Very good. Yeah, the Melveth nerfs are pretty impactful, but I don't think they're actually a huge deal for just, I don't know. I'm The thing is, I'm still going to play her. They were necessary nerfs because she has an insanely high ban rate in like Challenger and Masters and stuff. So it's fine. She's still a very strong character. Go and take my recall here. He might be able to cancel me. Yep, he's gonna walk up and cancel me. That's fine. I have ITP, so it's not a huge deal. He could be extra annoying and predict where I am, but I don't think he knows, so. I do need to get boots early in this matchup so I can catch up to him. But for the most part, we're just gonna be fo focusing on our short trades. Just trying to get a, as much tower pressure as possible. I'm going to go ahead and ping these missing again. But nice thing is we already have three grubs. Nice. Cool. So it's Shen ult and Singed R and Ghost for my flash. I'd say that is 100% worth for me. I'm going to allow him to do his thing. I'm just going to ping these missing again. He's going to constantly be able to pressure roaming because of his character and his wave clear. And there's not really a ton I can do about it. This is pretty much just an uninteractive matchup where I'm just going to focus on clearing waves and getting tower damage as much as possible um, and just making sure that he can't get as much farm as me. And just maybe landing some poke damage to be able to win. The only real unfortunate part about this is he is going to scale up and be a lot more useful to me in team fights, But it's just my hope that... I can maybe assassinate Nady Carry. It is another unfortunate situation where our bot lane is currently losing. Let's make 
That's all right. Don't take too much damage from right here. Nice. Not bad. Let's get some more poke off. Really good. Really good. Our true form is out, but that's fine. Just pick that he's there. I'm going to push him one more wave and then probably recall. Yep, he is there. There was a Shen scene. This is brewing up to be a very interesting game. Gonna get our Eclipse pretty quick here though, which is good. We have got pretty decent CS. We should just be able to get second grubs. Gets all a poke, but doesn't actually kill. I probably shouldn't have done that though. Like... Unfortunate that he's getting some lag spikes. I'm just gonna hope I can get some healing off. This guy's in very close to kill range, but he has aftershock, so he'd probably just live if I go for him. It's good that we went one for one there. That's not the worst case. Good, good, good. Get some good healing. See what I can do about this, but Singe is going to be back. Nice, just execute with that. Just back off here. They're gonna have everyone, so do not want this at all. Oh my gosh, it's four. It's four top. That's so crazy. Okay, they're not gonna be able to kill anyone though. We're out macroing them pretty hard. They have one dragon, but we have six scrubs, which is way more worth. All right, cool. We're doing really, really well. We already have Eclipse. We're gonna get close to our Blade of the Rune King. And we're gonna be pretty strong. I think the one nice thing about this is I, I'm catering my build to be really good against their team. And I'm able to do that because their team is just very similar. Nice, we got the dragon. We don't necessarily need to do anything else. Just gonna play to make sure no one else can die. Going one for drag, I'd say, is always worth. Nice, my auto attack range is long enough where I can auto attack him without stepping into poison. Nice, I hit him there too. That's really, really good. We're doing really well of curbing this singed growth. Okay. There's a rod already. Rylies. That's fine. <laughs> He's trying to do like crazy singed out plays, but not quite able to. 
scamping that Keen is going bot. He's going to try and do that, but I can just dodge it, just like I was saying. Cool. This is perfect. All right, he's going to have his ultimate back up. Ultimate is very strong on Singed. So he was almost able to kill me a couple times with it, but I was able to get out both times, luckily. Oh, my gosh. I'll just keep, I'll just keep hitting turret. I couldn't get my E off, that's too bad. I didn't want, it's, it's really hard because spamming E on Belveth sometimes makes it so that you cancel it. I, I should have been spamming it in that situation. That's really tough. I could have flashed too. I was thinking that if I get hit by that, I still live. Okay. Move on. Get towards our Bork here. I don't need to TP back to this. <clears throat> we did get the turret, though. Um, I'd say that's not too bad of a trade. I probably shouldn't have done it, but it's not the worst case scenario. We're still doing quite well. Just trying to get the auto without getting flipped. It's literally whole team. Yeah, Jinx is doing a good job of just taking the turret. We should not fight a 4v5. Yeah, just continue hitting all that. It's not a huge deal. They're just doing a good job of walking around as a team. Big old meatball. Good, good, good. I have to work on peeling here. Be able to get out. Nice. Should be able to kill Yasuo. No way that hits. What? That's crazy. All right, we almost had really good resets there, but wasn't quite meant to be. Jeez. Crazy fights all around. Really happy that I was able to get that kill. The cane walked into my E, basically. Really intense. I'm happy, happy I'm playing this game. Just gonna try my best to get her out. Yep. You don't always need to go for the kill on Belveth. Just play for your play for your really good CC as well. It's just as important.
They just have so much shielding. Sin's just so strong in team fights. I'm gonna leave God practice instrument. Good luck on the rest of the team. Thank you for stopping by. I very much appreciate it. I really just want to get three item. it's best to split against the um, Shen so that he doesn't have as much of an ability to teleport out. I might be able to kill him here. TP. Maybe I should have just committed to killing him. That's too bad. He was able to... Uh, dang. That's so tough. Oh my gosh, they're all so low. The shields, though. Tarek is doing a really good job. Nice. Really good job on Fiora cleaning that up. I wish I could go Serpents this game, but I I think I have to wait till fourth item to get it. It's just, it's too rough. Yeah, okay, I can, I can TP. Oh, I don't TP yet. Eight seconds on TP. I will just TP once I get in here. Let's just go, Baron. Dude. So much damage on the cane. It's such a weird game.
I don't think we could do anything about Baron. Got another turret. That's really good. Just gotta keep focusing on splitting, doing good work. I don't think I can split any more. You got my steel caps. I'm just getting one shot in these fights. I also just need to get more health, which I am going to do, so. It's partially what the cleaver is for. I probably should have just gone Cleaver second this game. I was thinking about it. They just have such good team fight. I swear I only lose lane when I don't play against normal stuff. When I play against like normal mid lane stuff, I destroy everyone. But when I play against the weird Singe players, Garen mid, all this random stuff, I always lose. <laughs> I still get stunned. We could get a good reset here. We do have good teamfight resets. Okay. That's something. That is something. Just help VR push, maybe? Yeah, could get a dragon. That would be really good. This guy's got freaking Iceborne. Don't fight, don't fight. Their team fight's really good, ours is not. We can all get out, we have really high mobility. Nice, we're all able to get out too, that's really good. Dodge that. Good, okay. Nice. Kane's not able to kill our Jinx.
<laughs> Can't do it. Yeah, I, I I don't think going Bork was the play. Even it's so crazy. Even in the best case scenario for Bork, I don't think it's good. Only 1100 damage is just so low compared to, like, I know I bought Eclipse, like, before Bork, but, like, I don't know. The damage is just so much better. Oh, wait. Damage to champ. I mean, that's not that much damage either. But the, the shield on Eclipse is really what's good. The Bork is dealing more damage, but it just, the base AD on it is just so bad, and it costs... 300, 400 more. I do have a teleport, so I'm just going to go bot first. Here. Ooh, Kane's really low now. Now he's half. Nice Fiora doing work. Really good knock up. He also dead. Nice. Get the Baron. We pop off, boys. We pop off. They have no one alive. Nice. That's the swing we needed. Fjord's doing such a good job of just tanking everything. And we finally got our cleaver. That's really, really good. This is exactly what we needed. And now I can start going into like Sterex and stuff. Nice. Really good. So now I just want to group with my team here. We can push this wave together. Just get a crap ton of minions. I want Jinx to get all the gold. This is really good. Their team's finally falling off. Because we have such insane abilities. I'm, just gonna, I'm literally just going to sit here so that it takes longer for them to kill the wave. Go back here and push the wave. Ooh, that hurts. We're just gonna have so much better wave pressure than them. Oh my gosh, I'm level 16 too. That's so good. I'm just gonna push the bot wave too. May as well. Okay, I'm here. A little late, but we have a Fiora split. We just need to make this fight last as long as possible, and we should be good. Nice. Got them to whiff that. Yep, just cancel that out. Don't I don't want to chase into that. Insane resets. Really insane. Alright, we're popping off. Uh, 
Oh, there's a Shen. We have to give to give, I think. It's not anything we can do. Man, we played that really well, though. We ended up getting the bot turret, too. Okay, they're really fast, so I gotta be careful. Not anything I could do. I, I could have stashed over the wall. They have no waves, though. I, dude, my macro, I, I took the inhib. <laughs> my minions took the inhib. What are they gonna do, bro? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Nice! So good, so good. Now we, on the other hand, might be able to end. It's gonna be difficult with Singed. Just end, just end, let's freaking go! Oh my gosh, what a freaking game. That was crazy. That was so crazy. 